So let's go ahead and go into whiteboard. I'm gonna click on this and go to whiteboard. And I have a blank whiteboard. I'm gonna talk about the different buttons. So this button right here, you can new, open, save as, close, export. Um, you can also save by hitting this right here. And this will go like to recently downloaded, like what you've saved before. Um, or you could say like where you're gonna save it. So when you hit the save button, it asks you where do you wanna save it. And you can save it in your drive, you can save it wherever you want. And then you click save over here. So that's that's what the save button does. And then if I go back to whiteboard, I have to I have to actually physically go back to whiteboard. Okay, this button does split screen. So you can see there's a line in between and you can have one kid work on one side and one kid work on the other. Um, probably don't wanna do that with COVID and everything. Hitting it, disable split screen. This button gives you different types of paper. So you can do grid, you can do lined paper, you can do the big writing lined paper, okay, or you can just leave it as a blank whiteboard. This button will let you, oh sorry, no, this button lets you download images. So if you have an image in your drive or you download an image, you can, you can have it under gallery. They also give you a number of charts and templates that you can use. <clears throat> But if I go under gallery, like I screenshotted a your turn page and I could upload that and I can have it up on my whiteboard. So you literally just go to your drive in, which I can show you when you go to apps, you go to your drive and you can open and you can download it that way. Um, and then you have the arrow button, which lets you make it smaller or bigger or rotate it. Okay. So the arrow lets you kind of mess with the different things on your whiteboard. I click it once, you can also trash it, okay? And if I didn't want to trash it, I can always hit that undo button. And then you have the pen. Now, if you click on the pen again, you can see the different sizes. You know, if you want it to be big or small, okay? And then you have the highlighter. And then you have the different colors. And if you want to add or change a color, you go to the color palette. This is the eraser. And then this erases all. This button is the different tools, like a ruler, protractor, the different tools that you can use. And then this is the redo and undo button. Okay, so those are the tools for whiteboard.